here with Complexity's Moon Meander on the day before group stages. Yeah. Uh, tell me how you feeling, man. Feeling um, good. I'm a little bit tired this couple of days because um, I'm not used to waking up early. Mm -hmm. Other than that, like the whole event has been pretty sick so far. Okay. Before we get into all that, let's uh, let's do uh, let's do a little introduction because this is this is your first. TI, right? Yeah, it's my first TI, yeah. So, you know, tell us uh, how old you are, where you're from, all that kind of stuff. I am uh, 23 years old. My name is David Tan. I grew up in Singapore for 16 years and moved to Canada when I was 17. Uh -huh. And I'm currently living from Vancouver. Okay. And uh, you play for Complexity and you guys, you know, first place North American qualifier? Yeah. Pretty good. Did you guys expect that going? Because a lot of people, they didn't, they didn't think you were gonna do that. Mm -hmm. But you kind of proved them wrong. So what's, what's the deal? The deal was, um, I think, at least from my point of view, um, to win this for myself was just keeping a cool head throughout the whole qualifiers, not to underestimate anyone, mm -hmm. and just to do my role in the team and just play Dota for myself like for the team not for like not like really for myself I'm sorry let me rephrase that I don't play to look good I just play to win I die a lot people say I feed but I don't <laughs> really care okay. because this is a community I think the biggest difference from us and the rest of any Dota is that we are we were in a team house and we felt more than just a team mm -hmm. we had like spirit and um, a lot of uh, enthusiasm and um, great friendship do you, uh, how long did you guys spend in a, in a house together? I think the guys, I think we spent about two to three months actually in a team house. Like wow, we okay. Were, like the moment the team formed, we were like a really like young team, honestly. Like I just joined and then boom, straight into the qualifiers. Like we were a very young team and we had to be in the team house together for two to three months. If we didn't have a team house, we probably wouldn't have like even made it past group stages probably. Did you guys have the whole like, nobody believes in us sentiment? Actually, we knew that was a thing, but instead of dis it letting it discourage us, we actually let it fuel our fire. Mm -hmm. Like no one believes in us. This is time to prove ourselves, prove, every prove everyone wrong, prove all the haters wrong. Because mm -hmm. like people don't want you to succeed. Your haters are actually deep down inside, actually fans. Like someone did a whole like psychology thing. If they hate on you <laughs> okay. so much and want you to fail, they actually love you. You know, okay, that's one way to look at it. Okay. Because if you think <laughs> about it, if they don't really care about you, they'll be like, they just be like yeah. well, complexity. They'll just be indifferent about you. Yeah, exactly. Like, the no, they don't care whether you win or lose. But if they hate on yeah. you and they want you to fail, they actually get down inside, they're actually your biggest fans. Okay. You know? So that's, a good, that's an interesting thing because a uh, mm -hmm. wise man once said the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. Yeah. So they, they, they hate you, it's the same kind of circle. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Um, I, uh, I recognize you from uh, from a video I watched of the Han World Championship. Oh, that video. Yeah, the video, mm. uh, the uh, the infamous basketball court yes. intro video. Mm -hmm. um, this event, a uh, slightly better, slightly better production yeah, just, just in a little bit. Just slightly better, just slightly better. So uh, tell me about uh, what, what's it like finally being here? You know, like they, they hook you guys up, huh? Um, being here, they definitely hooked us up. Uh, production was way better and they have a hospitality desk which really helped the players like if you have any problem you just go there and they help us like they actually help us and they don't just like give us a day they actually just like instantly do it like there's a problem with my computer they replace it uh, I have a problem with uh, the laundry they fix it like they do everything everything is spoon fed for us we don't have to be anything special we don't have to be anything good or like know how to cook whatever everything is paid for and it's like amazing to be here because I feel like I don't have to worry about anything except but the game Dota, except Dota. Yeah. yeah it's like amazing you know you don't have to take care of yourself you just like it's, it's great so on that line where, where do you, are you guys confident you know like you guys won the qualifier for very convincingly but mm -hmm. a lot of people say that's the weakest region you know like NA is mm -hmm. the weakest region yes. and what what are what are your expectations of this event? Are you guys gonna come in here just happy to be here, or what's the or are you you know gunning for? I, I don't want to sound cocky and say that I'm I'm gonna win this whole tournament and stuff like that, but at the same time I'm not gonna go into any I'm not gonna go no player is gonna go into a tournament with the mentality that oh we're probably gonna get like ninth or tenth place like that's a losing mentality. At the same time like, I'm not gonna be cocky and say that I'm gonna win this and beat Secret and EG and stuff like that. 
I'd like to bring a mentality where I'm just gonna go in, do my best, and like because I don't know how good the, any other teams are because we don't ever scrim them, you know. Yeah. Like I just wanna go in there and just be me and not even think that I'm playing a tournament. Think that I'm just playing like a game with my team and like just focus on the game, like not thinking about the fans or the the, the pressure, the pressure or the audience or the what if I screw up? Not thinking about who I'm playing against, not like respecting them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because if you give uh, players too much respect, and then you like they actually just like kind of mind game you too easily, you know? Uh -huh. You just kind of fall through the trap. So like I just do me, and hopefully like it works out for the best. And if I know that if I lose the tournament, at least I lost it because they're better than me, not because I lost it because like I got really scared and intimidated and I wasn't doing like doing me and playing my game of Dota I was scared of what the enemy was doing half the time and if I lose like that I'll be very depressed but if I lose playing my own game of Dota I know I, at least I did my very best in this tournament and I can't be disappointed with the results What uh, Does complexity play well under pressure? I say that I actually don't know because we this is our first TI right? Yeah. You're gonna rise to the occasion? You think that'll happen? You believe in your teammates? I definitely believe in my teammates. If anyone I don't believe in, I probably don't believe in myself the most because I throw the most. They call me feed me under, throw me under. Uh -huh. Like, uh, it's good. I'd rather be the worst player on my team and every one of my teammates are like the best so that I can rely on my teammates, you know? Okay, all right. Hey, good uh, good mentality. Um, well, uh, group stage is just, uh, just going to be a grind. You know, it's a grind. Mm. What do you guys in game, how do you, who's your like, Who's that guy that keeps the spirits up? Because I know when losses happen, the biggest thing is is basically don't tilt, you know? Mm. Don't tilt, don't get down on yourselves, stay positive. Are you that guy on the team or who is? It's probably the captain, mm -hmm. Melons. It's funny because in matches, he's the savior, the everyone looks up to him, but in scrims, he's like Debbie Downer. Oh, he yeah. So he he's hard he's hard in scrims, but mm. in the matches he's positive. Yeah. You think that's a good attitude for it? Um, it's kind of a good evil in scrims because he will point out every single mistake you make and be really, really hard on you. The good thing about that is you learn from the mistake. The bad thing is you kind of get really emo when they keep happening. You know? <laughs> okay. So like, so it's like a good evil in some way, and like, but in match, he definitely brings a game in. Like that's why he's like, I think, like, that's why he's the best captain mm -hmm. in North America. Uh, barring Peter Pandem because he wasn't in the qualifier, so I'm not counting him in. But I think that him and Peter are probably the two best captains of any Dota. And they both came from Han. Yeah. You think yeah, uh, yeah. you think it, that experience you know taught you guys a lot? I think um, in Han, experience was very important because Han was like as you know like the game is like kind of dead right now, but during the prime, like it was actually a very fast-paced game. You had split second decisions, you know, where when you brought over to Dota, Dota is actually a slower game. And like since we had trained years in a fast game, when it comes to a slower game, our decision making, like we have more time to think, which like makes it way better for us. Mm -hmm. So we make better decisions. I think that's why no not we, but like the captains make the better decisions. That's why like um Dota they're good captains. Mm -hmm. Uh tell us a little bit about you outside the game. What what are you, what are you into? Outside what are you the best at other than Dota? What am I the best at other than Dota? Uh, honestly, I like to think that I'm a pretty good driver. You're, dr you're a driver? I'm a good driver. Can you drift? No, I don't drift. I don't do any of this stuff, you know? <laughs> Just the stereotypical Asian is the bad driver thing. I just like to put it out there that I'm one of the few Asians that's a good driver. You, you, you like, buck the stereotype? Yeah, no, I'm like <laughs> six years into driving. I haven't gotten into one car accident yet, okay? Okay. All right. And I drive a seven-seater, okay? A, a seven family car, all right? Drive, what do you drive? A uh, uh, 2014 Nissan Pathfinder. Okay. All right. right. And then, uh, <laughs> I don't good driving. I'm pretty good at, um, I'm good at table tennis, I guess. Okay. You know, Maybe we have to play later. Yeah, probably not as good as, like, other people because it's been so long since I played, but I used to play for my school back in, uh, oh, wow. Victoria okay. School. But that was, like, when I was, like, 14, 15. Now I'm, like, this, like, nine years ago. I haven't mm. played since then, but, you know, the basics are still there and stuff. So driving and table tennis. Yeah. Okay. And like, what do you, what do you do for fun? For what do you, fun? What does your team do for fun? Like you guys are in a house like two three months. Like, how do you guys unwind? How do we unwind? We actually just watch Game of Thrones as a team. Oh wow! Every as Sunday a group, night. Group uh group activities. Yeah. Do you guys read the books? 
No, I didn't read the books at okay. all. Okay, you gotta read the books, dude. Okay, I'll read the books the are books. good. But read the books. you know, the show's pretty good too. Mm. What'd you think of it? I think that the show. Uh, I think that. I got a spoiler alert. Spoiler, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. I think alert. that when Jon Snow died, I was like, "What the hell? The last episode was so bad." He's not dead though. You know I know he's, he's not dead. dead. It's gonna get revived or something. I or mean, he, I, he, yeah. he's like filming, yeah. like, right now, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. He's, he's alive. But uh, my theory is that he's gonna get resurrected by the Red Lady. Uh huh. Artiz said that he's gonna get become a White Walker, and I think that's like nah, 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 no way, right? Yeah. Right. And anyway, like, show's pretty good. Why are we talking about Game of Thrones? I asked you what you guys do for oh, fun, man. That's right. Uh, other than that, to for fun, we like work out as a team. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that, that's important. Yeah. I think that's a big deal. I think uh, a lot of you know esports players, pro players, they uh, they don't take that as seriously as uh, mm. as they should. Yes, I think it's uh, important, uh, especially like we don't work out to get big, aside from like fly. Like uh, <laughs> we work fly. out uh, our lower backs a lot, so that because we sit all day, so. Uh -huh. D during drafts and stuff, yeah, doing deadlifts and squats and stuff. Yeah, and okay. we, we stand up a lot. We try not to sit down all day because it really hurts the lower back. And like from a previous experience, like having a lower back problems when you play games, like during the game you feel the pain. Like it makes you worse at the game because you feel a pain in your back, lower back. Mm -hmm. And a lot of pro players are suffering from this lower back thing. Some players I know have to be retired because of it. Like our ex player Riser. And um, I think Alliance's X player Chessy. Yeah, yeah. Like this, this lower back thing is actually a serious issue that's growing in the pro okay. game scene that people should look at more. That's okay. Um, Fly, do you think the four of you could take him? I think the four of us. Yeah, the four of you. Plus everyone in this room, the uh -huh. nine of us, couldn't even take the dude down. Maybe a couple scratches here and there, but we probably could even like. He's scary. He would just probably He's like scary. body all of us. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Okay. Has he teach you guys any moves? No, uh, we no. don't. We don't ask him. He just teach. Uh, the only moves he teaches us is like stretching. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So you know, we're uh, we're coming up on the group stage. Thank you for taking the time with us. But I, uh -huh. you know, I gotta ask. Uh, you know, the, the last time I remember interviewing a certain a certain Max Koikva. Who, nice broker, yes. Yeah, who uh, had some words for you, you know? Okay. He's talking about how you, you know that, but you guys ended up doing better than Tinker. So do you have any, you know, do you have any response? I think. Um, no, we serious now. Okay. Yeah. I okay. think that uh, my response is just gonna be like, I'm not gonna say anything bad about him because last year when he said that about me, I watched the interview and stuff. It fueled a fire in me and. It made me like very motivated. Times where I was gonna give up, I like like almost like despairing and emo and stuff. I would think of all my haters and what motivates me the most. And I think I shield above just like just do it. Don't let you lose your <laughs> dreams. You know, and I just like think about that and like, it fuels my it, it fuels my fire and like, I made it, you know? Just do and it. Yeah, I just it. don't wanna I wanna be here again next year. Yeah. And yeah. like this I'm not career. gonna fuel anyone's fire, just like just do you, you know. Just, just do me. So he did you a favor. He did you yeah, a favor. Just, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah you're here. That. Yeah, all right. You got any more shout outs? Got any last words for a us? Shout out to my sponsors, Com Complexity Gaming Organization. Turn around. Uh, shout out to. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out to Complexity Gaming sponsors, all of them. On my back. You read them. You read them yourself. And um, shout out to uh, um, Any Dota. Any Dota. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Good luck. You know, good luck in a in the group stages. Do it. Do it. Yeah. All right.